We're joined now by FS1 NBA analyst Chris Broussard. But Shannon, let me start with you. Mm-hmm. What do you make of all this? If I could have been, I couldn't have been Kevin Love because this. First of all, <laughs> when Isaiah did what he did, I would say, you know, guys, I was just gonna sit back here, play the good company guy. <laughs> like you're right, I need to play better. But since Isaiah came for me and I didn't send for him, I'm here now. First of all, you got everybody's up in arms about me missing the game. I had the flu. I felt faint. I felt dizzy. I went in the locker room. There's nothing I can do. I didn't want to spread whatever I had, so I left. Hold on. You guys going to get on to me. Derek Rose left here with a box, with a fade, and come back with dreads, and y'all welcome here with open arms, and you mad because I missed 24 hours? <laughs> Kick rocks, Isaiah. First of all, since you got here, you have no seniority to address me in any matter. You just got here a month ago. Where you been? Are you sure he didn't say that to him? I don't know, but I'm saying what I would have said. Sandy got heated. Well, it didn't get heated enough. <laughs> he might have should have put the mitts on him. It was fiery. First of all, hey, another problem that I got with you, Isaiah, you can't feed the post because unless it's a fire hydrant, that's the only thing you're going to throw over. So how are you going to get me the ball? I'm shooting 30% when you on the court, that and I correct. shoot 20 plus percent higher when you off the court. That is correct. You can't guard anything. Nope. Okay. I was going to. You think I'm done with him? Oh, when JR, when you, you played 29 minutes, this before, JR, when are you going to do something other than bull jive on the court? Tristan, you're making 15 million. You're getting two rebounds a game. I told you to leave well enough alone. Your head hard. Jay Crowder, can you hit like three shots that you hit in Boston last year? Can you guard somebody? He did hit a couple shots to start the game last Oh, night. And yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, and I know, hey, mm-hmm. and, and I know. Bertrand drove yeah. around and <laughs> yeah. like he was Michael Jordan. <laughs> like his feet were nailed to the floor. <laughs> and I know this might get me <laughs> traded, but y'all know. There have been like three or four games in the, last, in the last two weeks that LeBron had more turnovers than assists. But I ain't saying nothing about that. Mm. Ooh, Shannon but Sharp I, just took a shot at LeBron James. Oh, if we have. Uh, you look being at, honest. Yeah. When we have a meeting. Oh, don't tell, don't say we're having a meeting and I want you to get what's off your chest. Because I'm going to get, hey, not my chest. I'm going to my shoes. I'm going knee deep. Mm-hmm. I'm telling Isaiah Thomas, I'm look here, bro. <clears throat> Lou, I don't know what y'all going to do with me or him. Mm-hmm. But one of us needs to go. Mm. One of us needs to go. Now, he's virtually impossible because he, he's what we call the two. He's too small, T-O-O, and too selfish. So that basically makes him untraceable. He's a, a two-guard T.O. Yeah, guard, you know? yeah, mm-hmm. two. Mm-hmm. So, but one of us got to go. Because here's the thing. Kevin Love had no problem playing third fiddle to LeBron and Kyrie. He said, I'll be damned if I'm going to play second fiddle to Isaiah Thomas because he's not better than me. Isaiah Thomas thinks he's a superstar after one good year. Russell didn't become a superstar after one year. Mm-mm. Steph didn't. James Harden, yeah. put some time in, bruh. You think, oh, because you a second team all NBA, now you on Braun level. So you know LeBron's closer to greatness than I really do. <laughs> but, hey, Kevin Love, you a lot nicer than old Shea Sharp. Because boy, when we get in this meeting, see, now I get to be the real me. I ain't got to be professional. Ain't no cameras there. Boy, I'm cl- boy, I'm going in on everybody. I hope Kevin real this yeah. morning. I hope no. Kevin Love said like a third of what you said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. Amen. I mean, <laughs> this is ludicrous. Mm-hmm. Of all the problems they have, you talking about Kevin Love? Now, yeah, of course he's got flaws, but like you said, he is definitively their second best player. Yes. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And if J.R. Smith or Tristan Thompson or Imam Shumper or anybody said something about Kevin Love, Mm -hmm. that's ridiculous. And, of course, Isaiah, it's ludicrous. It's ridiculous for him to come out against Kevin Love. Here's what I hope happens, because we don't – they said it got fiery. If Isaiah Thomas went at Kevin Love, LeBron James, and anybody else there with some seniority, and I could even say Dwayne Wade just because his stature in the lead, Tristan, because he's been there with Kevin Love throughout the duration – should have stepped up for love Hope and been like, did. hold on, yeah. hold on. You've been to war with this guy for three and a half years. He helped you win the championship. He, he was playing the best ball of his career until the little man until, got there. Until you got here. And you. And I said, I think I said on this show over mm-hmm. the summer that there was talk that 
Players had trouble playing with Isaiah yeah, you said it. in Boston. Yep. There were a couple Celtics came out and said, no, Mike Malone, Denver's coach who coached him in Sacramento, said, no, I, IT was great. He called me personally. But I still keep hearing from people around the league, guys don't enjoy playing with him even last year. And you see, look, I get it. You're 5'9". You got to have that chip on your shoulder. But you also have to have an edit button. You don't come out after your first or second game and say the way we played was unacceptable. You don't. You the don't, way you played is unacceptable. I mean, you you don't come out and say we don't practice enough. You know, I mean, that's say that to Ty Lue behind right. closed doors. So he doesn't. That's what makes it difficult. Mm. And you see what's going on with with this situation. I mean, it's been bad. So. No, I'm I'm with everything Shannon you got, Shannon said. You got, Skip, this is unbelievable. I went to Baltimore as a seven-time straight Pro Bowler, mm -hmm. four first-team All-Pros, two two Super Bowls. I didn't go in there calling no team meeting. This dude <clears throat> at five <laughs> man, man. First, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Cause see, first of all, he can't, he, he can't even talk. What are you talking for? No, he just you, got you here. You should be sitting there. Yeah, you, you should be you, sitting there listening. You 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 just got here. You would invite a guest. <sighs> Me, myself, and Isaiah Thomas. That's who that guy is. And you, you kept saying, you kept you telling, warned you me. kept saying, he's coming, he's coming back. And I kept saying, be careful what you wish for. I didn't wish for it to come back because he talked. <laughs> you, he said he's gonna take, he's gonna average thirty. I said, Skip, he ain't gonna average thirty. He's that's what he said, and I be. Derek Goodman, if he ain't trying to average 30. Are you saying that Skip is right? Skip, you right, Skip. I'm sorry, Skip. I'm sorry. <laughs> you right on this one. Okay, I think we're in the twilight zone. But then. even I didn't see the audacity <laughs> of this little man to walk in the door and say, I'm LeBron's co-star. We're equal. Yes! We're 50-50, right? Yes! And right away, you were making jokes about, he said that? Yeah. He, what? And right away, when he went back to Boston, he did punk Danny Ainge. He did. He waited until late in the first quarter to make his grand entrance back into his house. And what happened was that at least for one year, you could argue for both years, the idolatry he experienced in Boston where, where there was a star void and they yeah. love their Celtics, but all of a sudden, oh, we got Isaiah, our little Isaiah. And he's cute and cuddly. And mm -hmm. as you said, he's easy to relate <laughs> yeah. to. And so they loved him because he was really good last year until... They ran into, and he obviously got hurt right. against the uh, Cavaliers. But then he comes in here like like he's in Boston still with yeah. the idolatry and, and thinks that Cleveland is going to embrace him as if he's the star and the driving force of this team. And when, when I read the report from Frank Isola, he led the charge against Kevin Love, who he's basically eliminated from the offense. Yeah. That was laughable to yeah. me. What? No, I'm not. The report wasn't laughable. The the, the fact was the laughable. fact that he, yeah, who just got there. What? Did you watch him last night? I thought he was on a slip and slide. Yeah, he, yeah. It, it, was, was, it was almost awful. embarrassing. For he, him. he was awful yeah. last night. He looked like a little because he's small too, but he looked like a little kid out there with men, and he's falling all over the place. And I don't tripping. know if his hip is not quite right yeah. yet. Maybe. But see, what the thing is though, he's in a contract year, and he keeps talking max contract. I don't see it. No. Maybe you maybe you see it, but I don't see someone giving this young man $25, $30 million for skill. And here's the thing. The problem that he has, if he doesn't score, he offers you nothing else because he can't defend, he doesn't rebound, and he doesn't assist the basketball. Yeah, so if he's not giving you that 30, what good is he to you? That's well, the biggest irony. He's joining a team that is really challenged on the defensive yes. end, and he only makes it worse. Yes. Right? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm in shark infested waters, but I'm going to cut my leg. Yeah, that's what you just brought him. You don't play defense to begin with. Now you just put a. Lord, we have all mercy. got somewhat caught up in who, who <clears throat> we forgot got who he was, <clears throat> and I don't mean his personality and stuff. But before going to Boston with Brad Stevens, he and these are good. Play he was Lou Williams or Jamal Crawford. You know, he was a scoring machine yeah. off yeah. the bench. Right. That's what he was. But in that system in, in Boston, credit to Brad Stevens and those teammates for watching his back and covering up for him on defense, he became a star for a couple years. Right, he did. But that's really not who he was, mm -hmm. you know. But he got caught up in it. 
Oh, Obviously, yeah. Cleveland's front office got caught up in it. Yeah, he got high on his and, own supply because yeah. he believe he believe he's on the level with LeBron James. And the thing is, Skip, and in, in Boston, like you say, they love the Celtics because you go back to the 60s Celtics, dominant. The 70s Celtics, they had Kyle, they had Havlicek, they had JoJo White. Then you go to 80, you had the big three. And then you get Paul Pierce. Yep. So they're starving for us. Okay, well, who's going to be that? Starving. Who's going to be that next guy? And here come a little relatable 5'9 guy like, oh, my goodness. You see little Dynamo? It was just like Muggsy Bowles. Muggsy Bowles was a 5'3". Everybody loved him in Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Because, can he come out and play? That's a grown man. He's talking about, can he come out and play with y'all? But they look at Isaiah, and he's averaging 29, 30 points a game. He was like, good there, yeah. too. I give him credit. But but here's the thing. If he don't, he, he can't give you that in Cleveland because the shots are not there. And if he's not providing the scoring, he's of no use to mm-hmm. you. So yep. he's just on the... But J.R., I don't know what happened to JR. I don't know what happened to him. But Tristan Thompson, I told you, leave well enough alone, but you mm-hmm. wouldn't listen. Do you know what his numbers were? You know what his numbers were in the playoffs, yeah. in the finals. Mm-hmm. There were some games he had zero points. Yeah. There were some games he had four rebounds, making 14 million. Tristan Thompson never got injured. He was the, the AC Green of the modern player. Mm-hmm. He start dating Joy. You know what happened. So Ty Lue said before the game, he didn't care what went on in the meeting. He cared. Did the meeting, yeah. did it shock us back into yeah. to some effort on defense? Let's see how we respond to the meeting or it won't matter. To me, of all the games I've watched in the span of three and ten, that was hitting bottom last night because that Spurs team, that's the B team now. There's no Kawhi, no Gasol, no Manu, who I think is a candidate for sixth man of the year, no and Rudy. no Rudy Gay. Yeah, it, that well, might come on. be the B team. So, Davis Bertans is guarding LeBron half the night. I'm like, what? And, and driving and, by Jay Crowder, like. Yeah, well, and, and they win 114 to 102 because every 50 50 ball, every loose ball, the Cavs are just watching. DeJounte just dive on the floor and grab it, dude stealing got, the ball from him. Dude has seven steals. They did not rebounds. respond. They did not respond. They just sort of, they're just dead in the water. You know, they're just drifting through Get, games. I've never seen anything like him before. The body language is yeah, horrible. Bad. They played They played deep for one the first quarter. They did. They gave up 25 points. Mm-hmm. And then from that point on, they got ran through like X, like go through an elderly person. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous, Skip. I'm, 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 off, I'm telling you, until they make a move. He's off. He says he's off. The until game. they, until... They make a move. I am not LeBron. I, no, there. I don't think there's any major moves coming. They may get, get George him. Hill. Okay, is George Hill going to change your life? Well, here's the thing: if you get George Hill, he can play the one or the two. Right. He is a good three point shooter. So yes. my guess is they'll eventually they'll start with him and Isaiah in the backcourt. Right. No. But I think that's where they'll start it off. Trade Isaiah for Kimball. Well, what I was going to say, <laughs> no. You think Mike and Mike, you think Mike doing that, Michael Jordan? <laughs> yeah. Because Mike, he's gonna be off your books. Kimball making 12 million. Isaiah only making six million this year. He's gonna be off your books next year. I would I would start Hill at the point. Now you don't have a two guard. That's the problem, too. But why but did Isaiah Ty Lue has to make the tough decisions? Why did Isaiah automatically get inserted into the starting lineup? It's not a coincidence that they won 18 or 19 or 17 or 20 with who wasn't in the lineup. Called the room. Because they treated the skid him did for start. Kyrie. The skid did start before Slightly got back. Because Slightly. You, you know why? You they anticipated him coming back. You know what? I tweeted 10 days ago that the Cavs are better with Calderon in the lineup in place of Isaiah. Yeah. Seriously. That, and you can yeah. laugh at that, but they're just better. They're Chemistry, a better basketball yep. team. How do, That's how, why Hill in that spot. Yeah. Hill's a, obviously a much better version than Calderon. Yeah. He is. So maybe, that's why I'm thinking, maybe you go there. So LeBron needs to make the call. How does, how does J.R. Smith play 29 minutes and I'm on my couch and he and I have the same <clears throat> The same amount. How did that happen, Chris Broussard? JR's game has J- totally oh, no. disappeared. He got totally. to go. They got to, somebody. I'm t- Chris Broussard, you know I'm the biggest Cavalier fan, but I got to go. I'm gone. I'm out. Mm. Mm. I'm out. So they, we're, wow. I'm done. And they I, got I mean, unless, I, I'm unless just, somebody, unless. Again, I'm just shocked. I, I'm shocked. Bron, I'm sorry, Bron. Well, well it, it, look, and, and look, you can only control your teammates so much. They're grown men. But I do want to see LeBron and D-Wade step up as leaders. Jeff Green some should of be this the has to be on them. Some of this has to be on them. Some yeah, of it. it does. Tell me Jeff Green shouldn't be starting in front of the Of course it's on LeBron. He it's makes some totally decisions. It's not totally on him. Nah, it's, it's, not, it's not to that degree. But you said that they, they do need said to they step up. they forgot who Isaiah was before that Boston situation. I think they forgot who Kyrie was. 
That swap, well, you didn't that's have why that's trade what him. it is. You, you could have sat it LeBron, out, tried Le, to tough LeBron it out. LeBron was willing to sit down. Whatever issues he and Kyrie yeah. had, he was willing to work through it. What, what LeBron should have done... I'm not sure Kyrie was. Yeah. No, Kyrie wasn't. What LeBron should have done, when they came to him and said, look, we could get Paul George and, and Eric Bledsoe yeah. for Kyrie if you sign on to stay. I don't know if it was to for three, year, four years, yeah. but maybe okay. just next year. Because yeah. George was willing to stay at least next year. Should have done that. Because next year, the free agent landscape will look better for LeBron anyway. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.